Everybody has been like taking advantage of us. I'm just saying, it's just us. When I had guys that get them to come and do something, they had to do it. You can't even wash clothes. We don't have heat. And so for y'all to come and do this for free, wow. We've been here 30 years. They won't come and do nothing. I'm retired from Fulton County for 23 years. And then this is where I get. I'm Diamond. I work with Drake Lawn Care. I was trying to see if you know if anyone owns this home. I had the guy number who, who I think owned it, but I know I live there. Nobody lives there? Uh uh. It's abandoned. It's been abandoned for years. You talking about this one here? Yeah, right here. Yeah, it's been abandoned for years. And how long has the yard been like this? For a long time. They they come out here now and then to, to cut, but. I don't know what they doing. We don't really know who on the way. This has been here for years, since I was years. Wow. Yeah. Well, we do lawn care service for free for the community. Let me call him. I'll try to get the number. This is my um, boyfriend, Drake. Nice to Hey, that's a nice thing to do to me. Thank you. Yeah, you got it? I'm finna, I think I got it. The city comes out and cut their grass. The city does it? They got it set up, they come out every Month. Every two months. Uh -huh. Okay, but they never take care of the stuff on the house. Uh -uh. They said the only thing they're supposed to do is take care of the grass. Take care of the grass. Uh -huh. Okay, nice to meet you. I'm Diamond. Oh, my God. Nice to meet you. Yes, ma'am. I got that number. Because he's going to be, I'm going to see him soon. Okay, well, if he's okay with it, we're going to go ahead and cut it. Thank you. Okay, well, we'll come and get it back in shape. We saw y'all backyard, so we'll be able to still help out and get some things taken care of. Oh, okay. So, he don't take no money. I try it out. I'm serious. We're not going to charge you. It's going to be totally free. A hundred percent free. You can check us out on YouTube. <laughs> this is what we do. When you just watching a man do that, man, y'all, like that. I start crying. It's my day. <laughs> I promise. Cause she get to crying, she gonna cry all the way to the mall. Just every day cry. Yeah. Everybody has been like taking advantage of us. I mean, it's just us, and I'm just saying. And so, when I had guys that get them to come and do something, they had to do it. We we can't even wash clothes because the guy gave money. He never fixed my pipes under the house. We don't have heat. We use the heaters in the house because the guy gave money to. He ran off with my money. Oh my gosh. And so for y'all to come and do this for free. Yes, ma'am. Wow. I want to give you a hug because I'm telling God it's so good. Well, I was just telling her, we've had so much help, so much help. And to be able to come back and help people and get these reactions, because you never know what somebody is going through. And I saw your sticker in the window and that's what made us turn around because I have keratoconus. So I saw that sticker and we were like, we got to come back and talk to y'all and see. But I promise, this is what we do it for. Well, you look like you're my other sister now. This is what we, this is what we do it for. And we sorry to hear that you've been taking Why advantage of it. By black men. Yeah. Black I'm sorry. Our own people. Dang, I'm yeah. sorry to hear that. And my neighbors, they know, you know, we, we've been here 30 years. And they won't come and do nothing. I gave one of the guys money to fix the water pipe under the house. He came back, it's been almost two years. Really? Then uh, my heater, uh, we don't even have heat, so we use our uh, the little heaters. Mm -hmm. And so when I get somebody money to cut the grass, they have to do it. They steal my stuff out the yard. Oh my gosh! And okay. stuff. And I'm retired from Fulton County for 23 years. Oh man! And then this is where I get. Before I start on that yard, I'm gonna take care of your backyard for you. Okay? You're welcome. You're welcome. We're about to go ahead and do y'all's backyard. Greetings and welcome back to Drake Lawn Care. On today's episode, Drake and I stumbled upon an overgrown and neglected property in Metro Atlanta. We immediately stopped by to see if we could gather some information and get this eyesore cleaned for the community. I noticed the next door neighbor and quickly approached them only to learn that God intended for us to bless this family instead. Two single women living with three kids with no heat nor hot water with the winter season rapidly approaching. 
They mentioned that they have been getting taken advantage of by previous contractors and even have had some equipment stolen from them. Drake and I could definitely feel their pain and frustration in their voices and we decided to lend them a helping hand instead. We cleaned the backyard for them as requested and even stopped by Best Buy to purchase an extra space heater for them. Though it's not much, with you all's help, we're aiming to raise $5,000 to hire a reputable company to come out and fix their heating and hot water for the family. Every single dollar will go back to Angela and her mother, Sister Faith, and Drake and I will document the process for you all to follow along with us. I've linked the GoFundMe in the description below, and I'd like to say first, thank you for anyone who helps in advance. We sincerely appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts. Now, let's get mowing and happy Thanksgiving.
So right here, Drake and I are trying to remove a fence that has now become entwined with vines, uh, shrubs, and some bricks. So it's really tough. It's under the bricks. It's like stuck up under there. So we're having to try to pull it up as high as we can and then cut and pull and cut. So it's gonna take us a little bit of time, but it's gonna be worth it in the end. So if you're wondering what we're doing, that's what we're doing.
Okay, you all, quick break. This is now day two. Uh, we just came from Best Buy. It was Angela's birthday yesterday, so she asked Diamond, do she have some headphones? So stopped at Best Buy and got her these Sony headphones for a good deal. They wireless, Bluetooth, so be able to listen to them with any phone you have. I think that'd be cool. And we also got them a space heater as well. Yeah, you can kind of see it. What kind of space heater is that? Um, it's a Honeywell. Yeah, it's a Honeywell. Yeah. 1500 watts, so that should definitely help. I know ceramic. they already said, oh, you said ceramic? Yeah. Okay, bet. It's got the remote control, two times overheat shut off protection, so that'll be good, safe for the kids. Yeah, because I know they already said they had three space heaters, but they were small, so hopefully this one, it's not a lot, but hopefully this will help, you know, add to it. It's a taller space heater and 1500 watts that's good like diamond said they got the uh, safety features for the kids so it won't cause anything got motion sensors as well so hey, i think it's a nice space heater and also i want to try to uh i want to try to see what's going on with her heater like her heat she said somebody was supposed to come out and look at it and fix the pipes so hopefully i can probably send a guy over and everything like that and probably get an estimate and if so i will probably be we probably will be starting to go find me to help raise the money if it's not too much and try to get uh you know their heat fits man because it's the winter time right now even in our apartment we already know it's cold here in Atlanta we are already hitting like 40 and 30 something degrees in the morning and at night so for three kids two ladies one elderly you know like that's horrible you know disabled so definitely don't want them to be freezing you know that's just unacceptable so if we can help them out you know that would be greatly appreciated and I will let you all know once we get back to the property so this will be a nice little surprise they don't know we'll give them that once we finish cleaning up so let's get back to it
We finished up for you. I wanted to see with Angela home. Okay, we had a gift for her for her birthday. Mm -hmm. Tell Auntie Angela, come here. We got you a space heater. I know it ain't much, but it's uh, one of the tall ones and everything like that. This should help out. I'm gonna try to still have somebody come over and try to uh, take a look at, you said your heater is off, right? Yeah, and uh, you said something wrong with the pipes? With the chimney that goes up. Oh, with the chimney? Mm-hmm. Okay, well, I'm gonna try to still get somebody uh, to come look at it, but I still just wanted to drop this space heater off for you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> I guess we'll get down the pole. What's that for? This is for oh, your birthday. Uh, I know that was a space heater. That's one, but I'm still trying to get somebody to come look at it. <laughs> Yeah. They Thank got you. something else for you. And I know it was your birthday yesterday. I see you got headphones, but I had bought you a pair. Ooh, you got some good ones, girl. You make no family dollar way. There's some Sony's. That ain't I got the most. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I know Happy you had that. diamond for some headphones. Yeah. Yeah, I made sure I got a Bluetooth so they can go with any phone you got, sir. Wow. You can talk on them as well, too. No, I'll be using the record on. Are you using the record on? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, perfect. there you go. Thank okay. you. You're, You're welcome. welcome. You're welcome. And what day should I put? Move over, Angela. Oh. <laughs> she could be in the picture. But this one, I'm going to go up here where I'm not going to stay. No, we ain't going. You will want <laughs> You are yeah, warning. Well, it was nice to meet y'all. Nice like meeting I said, uh, y'all can still reach out, and I'll reach out to y'all, too, as soon as I get the person that can come and look at your chimney for you and try to see what's going on with the heat. Thank you. You're, You're welcome. welcome. And we Anytime. finished up the backyard. I so saw it. Mm -hmm. I, I stepped you. over in your ready? tub. I was looking. I was like, oh, God. Look, I can see the fence. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we're going to come back. I'm going to try to get like a chainsaw so I can tear that brush down so you'll actually see the back fence. That's what I want to do. Yep. God. I'm Sister Faith Hope on Facebook. Okay. okay. So y'all will see me going live. Okay. Got you. Make sure you send them. Like, what's up, Facebook? Peace of eight times down. Okay. Send us a friend request. I'm going to add you too. And we got some more work to go do today, so we're going to head on out. But we just want to tell y'all. We're going to put this in the living room. Yes. yes. Thank I'm a, yep. You're like welcome. Like I said, I'm going to try to get the guy to come out and try to look and see what's going on with the heater. Okay. Okay. Bless y'all. Thank you so All right. Much. Get your own friend. Thank, mine. You. We thank, we thank you. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Yeah. D mine. These are getting warm out here. Get, get, so get your own friend. Five in a minute. Like get my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Have a great day. All right. All right. Nice to meet you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome.